Come on, Roy. That's Roy. I told you I had to pick. Yeah. <laughs> Roy is massive. And the reason you don't normally see pigs this size is because they're usually making bacon, if you know what I mean. That is a big boy. Roy nice to everybody? We need to make sure Roy is cool. Yeah, Roy's cool. Like Fonzie, cool. Yeah. Is his tongue a whole ways out like that? Yeah. Oh, Roy. How old is Roy? Uh, about four. We had a breeding farm, and we got him when he was about three months old. My husband was breeding some sows. OK. And when he jumped up on the sow, he pinched something in his hips. And while he was sick, we kind of really got attached to him and everything else. And so he's become a part of our family. We take him around to petting zoos and different types of organizations. They've probably never seen a pig quite this size. They're usually the same reaction you have. <laughs> Those big guys got to stick together. He's not castrated. Got like cantaloupes hanging from the back of him. He was going to be a show pig. How much is he weighing? Like I would 600? guess about 700. I don't have a scale that I can weigh him on here. So you have to forgive me. Worthy pig, nice pig. Real nice guy moving around about the parts of town. But he's just a little bit too big to be on this side of town. How about next time I see Roy at his place? What are the main issues that we're having with him? When the older he gets, the more weight he puts on, it seems to be causing a little bit more issues with his hips. OK. Pigs are known to have arthritis issues. Obviously, with the weight, that can definitely hinder him more. And I can't x-ray him. He'd break my x-ray table. <laughs> uh, and I don't even know how we'd get him up there. What I like to do is go around, look at his feet, look at his joints, to see if there's any issues that can point out why he's in pain like this. Arthritis is a disease that's associated with weight. With Roy being like two times the size of a normal pig, you can assume that all that weight is putting pressure on his joints and his bones. And if it's left untreated, it could be a real bad day for Roy. I'm feeling a little bit of swelling here. All right, stay that way, head that way, big guy. With arthritis, you get some pain, some swelling and things that happen like that. Anti-inflammatories and some joint supplements would be what I'm gonna recommend. The medication that I'm going to prescribe for Roy, it works very simply. It takes care of the inflammation in his joints, just like a person taking aspirin. It alleviates all the pain and swelling that he feels. You give it to him once or twice a day, and he'll feel a lot better. Thank you very much. Hey, you all are very, very welcome.